down to the grid here as we're getting ready to grid up. Femi Olat grabbing that with 10 seconds left in qualifying with a 52.635. Congratulations to him for grabbing the pole. Justin Lizenby will start on the outside in second. In row number two, Malad Radman third. Caden Henry Oaks in fourth. In row number three, Jared Darling fifth. Elijah Gracio will start sixth. In row number four, Terrell Baker in seventh. Nathan Lewis eighth. In row number five, Daniel Falkingham in ninth position. And Aaron Smith comes into tenth. Joseph? At the Emory and Cody Miller will be in row number six in 11th and 12th. Uh, in row number seven, we got Lucas Smith 13th. James Koulibaly, 14th. Row number eight, we got Sean Williams starting 15th. Taylor Fry, 16th. Row number nine, we got Keen Jones, 17th. Tony Hillbrand, 18th. And in row number 10, it's Nate Stewart, 19th. And James Simmons rounds up the top 20. All right, in row number 11, Bobby Cheney starting 21st. Tommy Gossett, 22nd. Row number 12, the first one to not take a qualifying time. Uh, and your winner of duel number one, Will Klein, going to start back here in 23rd position. Ariadne, 24th, uh, getting wrecked out of duel number one there. I don't I don't remember where he finished, but, man, he was up there battling when it come down to the end of it. In row 13, Zoltan Herzeg, 25th. Spencer Owens, 26th. In row 14, Tom Mercier in 27th. John Barry will start 28th. In row 15, Scott Rambler, 29th, and Hunter Combs, 30th. Joseph? 31st is Cody Lamas. 32nd is Scott Schuer. 33rd is Zachary Demarche. He finished third in dual race number one. 34th is Patrick Colby. Uh, I'm sorry, Patrick Colby. Um, and then rounding out the field in 35th is going to be Eric Hall, who almost had a shot to win dual race number one. He's going to start the very tail end of the field. So just like the first race, Rudy, 35 drivers start this race. Yes, well, sir. There goes the pace car rolling off, and we're just a lap away to having the green flag in dual race number two. Wow, man, I'm telling you, that was some finish. And, you know, I, I we're going to be talking about that for weeks to come, folks. Uh, you're probably going to get bored of hearing it because it was just absolutely amazing. And if in, this race is anything like that, that first race, it's going to be another wild finish. You well, got to stay tuned to watch this one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The finish was fantastic in race number one. Could we see something like that again? We will see. Of course, remember, Rudy, these guys got three attempts at a green-white checker as well. Yes. We didn't use any of those green-white checkers in race number one. We actually made the full 38 laps, no extra laps, but things can change here. Of course, the guys that had terrible runs in the first race, you know they're probably going to be a little extra aggressive to try to get a good yeah. finish in, in uh, race number two. Yes, sir. Watch for Falkingham to try to get to the front just as quickly as he can. Or Zoltan Hurt, Zay, Ariadne. Those those type of guys right there. Watch for them to get right up there in the front. Falkingham had a horrible finish in that. Got wrecked out. And a few other guys, too, that, that are great racers out there. So, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be the aggressive one, I think. Well, Rudy, we're ready to go, man. I mean, we took a breather from race one. Now we're ready to be pumped up again for race two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you guys for tuning in tonight to Max Speed TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that like button below to show your support for this uh, channel. But, man, what a fantastic race we saw in duel race number one. We're ready for duel number two. 38 laps once again. This is the final race of the night. What is going to happen here? Can Will Klein do the double and get the win here in race number two? Or will it be somebody else? The pace car is off. They're into the trial now. Femi Olat and Justin Lysby will lead the field down to the green flag. And we're just waiting for the green flag to drop. Green flag, green flag. And here we go. The green flag is in the air. We're racing here at duel number two in Talladega. As everybody gets up to speed here, it takes a little bit. A little bit for them to get up to speed. Lies and be on the outside. Here comes Malad Radman. Not to be denied this duel. He wants to finish well here tonight. 
Yeah, down the back straightway for the first time. They are still side by side for the race lead. Femi Olat downstairs. Justin Lysby upstairs. You got Malad Radman pushing Femi Olat. You got Caden Henry on the outside lane pushing Justin Lysby as they're in turns three and four to double foul from the top 15 on back. And man, already these guys are racing it like it's a last lap. Back in the pack here. Taylor Fry finished second in that first duel. He's got himself in decent position right now. Hoping to maybe pull out a win here. He does not want to finish second in both duels, I can guarantee you. Falkingham on the bottom. Now coming off turn number two, Femi Olat actually has the race lead over Justin Lysby right now. Olat Rabbit doing a good job pushing Femi Olat. You got Jared Darling and Daniel Falking on the third and fourth car in line, but back up front in the outside lane, here comes Justin Lysby and Kane Henry back. A third line is about to form right now. Elijah Gracia trying to take it up to the very outside lane, but he's Oh, we got a caution. Oh, caution's out. Oh, way in the back, Tommy Gossett caught up Tommy into Gossett that. Around. Yeah, let's go see what oh, happened to Tommy. Cars, John Barry involved as well. Oh. Uh-oh. This, this might not be good. Go see what happened between those two. I'm on board here with Tommy Gossett. I don't see. I think John Barry must have just got caught up in it. But Tommy Gossett, high side, looks like... Uh, he drops it to the bottom here. It, oh, he gets hit by yeah, he oh, does. by Scott Rambler. Yeah, Scott oh, Rambler. Oh him. man, Scott let's go Rambler. back. Yeah, let's go back here. Take another look here from uh, the far chase view. And you, it looked like I don't know if Scott thought he was clear when he come down the hill here or what, but boy, he just come right down into the side of uh, Tommy Gossett, and that's going to definitely put Tommy Gossett out of the race. I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he hit the wall mm, head man. on in the outside wall pretty hard. And I don't know how much damage uh, John Barry has. Um, it looked like, um, man, I tell you what. Oh, I mean, Scott Aaron, was, Aaron Smith got a piece of that. Yeah, but Yep, Aaron Smith a piece of it. And I'm waiting for uh, John Barry to come along. We got a lot of guys kind of skinny through that without getting any damage. But uh, I don't know where John Barry comes into the picture here. I'm trying to find him. Okay, he's trying to stay high here. I'm, I'm on John right now. He's trying to stay high. Tommy, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, he dove it to the bottom, it looks like. Uh, he might. Oh, he lost it himself. Yeah, he lost it just trying to oh. either get that car slowed down. And, you know, just that transition from the apron to the banking it's it's so hard it could easily yep. get you out of control and but it didn't look like he got any damage out of it, it looked like he just went yeah. for spin so he should be all right yep and will klein he's he got through it okay uh so good job by them guys james simmons he come out of it with no damage so man a lot of a lot of close calls there for guys i'm telling you but femio lat still leading uh, Scott Rambler and Tommy Gossett has pulled it behind the wall. Ah, uh, yep. Dang. Well, both of them got a lot of damage. Let's see if we can get a word with uh, Femi Alat. Femi Alat, got a copy, bud? Yeah. Well, first off, good job on the poll. You just took it right away from Justin Lysby in the final few seconds of qualifying. But uh, what are we expecting you from this race? How aggressive are you going to be? I want to lead every lap. I don't. I don't want to get past. So, if take that as you will. Oh boy! Wow. <laughs> Good strategy to have. Try to lead all the laps and go for the victory. Well, that's easier said than done for sure at Talladega. But you know what? You're a good racer. I would not be surprised if you're able to pull that off. So, uh, Femi, uh, best of luck to you, and uh, maybe we'll see you in victory lane. Thank you. Hopefully. Well, you know, Joseph, we know how Femi races, and you know he might have just said a he might have just said a mouthful right there. But I'll tell you what, he's not wrong. Nope, not at all. Hey, it's a good strategy to have. Just try to stay up front, lead every lap. You know, good strategy to have at Talladega. But I know it's easier said than done at Talladega. We've seen it in Duel Number One. But with as talented as Femi Olat is, would not surprise me if he's, if he's able to pull that off. 
Yeah. Well, I, you know, just to kind of throw that out there, but, you know, there's a, there was a lot of confidence in his voice. I don't know if you kind of caught that. Oh, I did. <laughs> I mean, major confidence in his voice. So whether he knows something we don't, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if his strategy works here. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Well, oh, you know, we did get a lot of the guys in the back pit, but now they still won't, I don't think, would be able to make it the rest of the way on fuel. And it would be really, gonna, really close. It's going to be really close. Yeah, it, they would have to have one more caution. Then they could make it, I think. But the lights are out. We're going green next time. Uh, apparently, Rudy, um, apparently, uh, that wreck with uh, Scott Rambler and Tommy Gossa apparently was payback. Oh. Apparently in the last race, um, oh. uh, Tommy Gossa turned uh, Scott Rambler around. Oh, uh, that that's not payback. good. Uh, I mean, we'll have to see if there's any penalties coming out for that. Of course, oh we did not get any penalties at all from last week's race. I oh, don't man. think. So, but... Man, <laughs> we were in Martinsville a couple weeks ago. We're still having tempers at a big track like this at Talladega, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right on. There, there you go. That's what Nork's all about. Oh, wow, man. Well, 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 we see that a lot. You know, the guys, they do get that tempers flare out there when somebody gets dumped. Boy, they got a memory like an elephant, and they remember that next race, boy. It's payback time, you know. And, oof. <laughs> You're not wrong, man. Memory <laughs> size of an elephant. I yep. mean, that's for sure. Especially in this league, you don't you don't forget. Mm -mm. Well, how about that? Justin Lysby is still on the front row. The top two, I'd say, you know what? The top, not, not mainly the top five has not changed at all yep. from where they started. You still got Femi Lightling, Justin Lysby second, Malad Radman third, Caden Henry fourth, Jared Darling fifth. Actually, the top six. Yeah. Yeah, no, top five have not changed positions. All right, so here we go. Base car heads in. You're restarting on lap number six, and I think we are going to see a couple more cautions here than we've seen in duel number one. I have a sneaking suspicion about that. <laughs> because of the you know the aggression level of every driver out there right now. They're, everybody's going to be super aggressive. Oh, Absolutely. All right, here we go. Green, green, green. And the green flag's back in the air here at Talladega for duel number two for the Nork NASCAR Cup Series. And, man, what a start. Everybody did an excellent job on that restart. Yeah, Femi Olad actually gets the advantage on that bottom lane in the turn number one. Olad Rabbit now on his back bumper. Justin Lysby still trying to hang strong on that outside lane with Caden Henry behind him. Down the back straightaway once again. Here comes Jared Darling and Daniel Falkingham working together to try to get that bottom lane working. But you got three cars up there, Justin Lysby, Caden Henry, and Nathan Lewis trying to get that outside lane to work. They're still side by side for the race lead now. Femi putting the, I mean, he said he's going to bring it home here tonight. Now I'm going to tell you, he said he's going to lead every lap. So far, he's not lying. He's not lying right now. It's still hanging strong in that bottom lane. And to that race lead, coming to the stripe here, Femi Olat will lead this lap. But you got Justin Lightsby still hanging tough on that outside lane. But Malad Ram is still trying to take over the second spot away from Lightsby. And it oh, looks I... like the top two on the bottom lane is going to clear. Yeah, I look for Malad to possibly go to the high side up there in front of Justin Lysenby. Well, yeah, he can't now. He had an opportunity to go up there to try to possibly get the lead, but uh, he decided to stay right behind Femi Olat for now. And boy, I'll tell you, the cars have broke away a lot back here. Man, oh man, the back part of this field is really out of it. Everybody's uh, kind of giving themselves plenty of time to check up in case there's a big one. Aaron Smith back in 24th. He started 10th. And at right the there line, look at that. Justin Lysby actually 
led that lap, so Femi yes. Watt, you do not lead every lap, but I guarantee you he still wants to stay up front as long as he can. So far, Femi Watt is still strong on that bottom lane with Malad pushing him, but Justin Lysby not giving up on that outside lane. He's still getting pushed by Caden Henry. It doesn't look like anybody is getting a third line to work right now. There's still double foul from first to about the top 15, but now I think you can see on the very outside, Tony Hillbrand is trying to get something to work. They're four wide actually all of a sudden back there. Holy smokes, they are. Look at this, Tony Hillbrands. That's another one that's not afraid to take it up high. And you see who's coming up behind him. There's Zoltan Herzeg. We know Zoltan wants to get to the front and working with Tom Mercier again. Those two have been teamed up Gosh, I think in a lot of races that I see them guys in, they're teamed up together. Off of turn number two, down the back straightaway again. Coming a lot, still with the race lead. Side by side for second when Malad downstairs, Justin lies to be upstairs. No, no gains have been made or positions have been changed pretty much in the top 10. They're still the same, uh, same drivers on the bottom lane, same drivers on the outside lane in the last couple laps. How about Terrell Baker now oh. on that line? He's probably trying to get out of this pack right now, just staying away from this oh, pack. Oh, here he we knows. go. Cody Miller. He, I think some drivers know it's getting a little dicey up there. They want to try to get away because remember, uh, some of those drivers had a bad result in race number one, so they're True. trying to make it all the way to the checker flag with a good result. So they're laying back a little bit right now. Hunter Combs, they cleared uh, Cody Miller. They got by him. TCB's hanging tough right here at 16th, but he started seventh. So if his if he's going to be aggressive, he better like uh, start getting aggressive. Lizenby in front of Femi Alat. Yeah, Lizenby actually got a good run and was able to pull down in front of Justin Lizenby. So now Justin Lizenby is in command of the bottom lane. Kanan Henry now leading the charge on that outside lane. And here is some green flag piss stops. Oh, yeah, happen. here they go. This here is we exact, go. This is exactly like we saw in the first race, like around lap 10 or so. You see these drivers making these early Green flag piss off, maybe hoping for that or caution, but now this will get them into that window to make it all the way to the check flag without running out of fuel. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Well, that uh, put TC or <laughs> Justin Lies be out front with Nathan Lewis, Daniel Falkingham. Let's see if these guys pull the same strategy. Now they didn't last time, and the caution came out, and them leaders had to go to the back of the field. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, 10 laps are completed. They're on lap 11 right now. Let's see if anybody comes down this Here time. Here come. comes Nathan Lewis, Daniel Foley. Yeah, we got yeah. few more. Justin Lysby come down. The only one that's left out there is Keen Jones and Ariadne, but everybody else coming down pit road. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Yeah, that puts Keaton Jones, Ariadne into the lead. Scott Schuer third, and Bobby Chaney fourth. Now, those those guys are staying out. Yeah, but what's going to hurt these guys? Look at this. They, they're they not working there. These yeah. guys are kind of left out to dry. They got no drafting partner. That's going to really, whenever they do make their pit stops and whatever how it's going to cycle out, if we don't get another caution, it they're going to be in the worst spot than they are right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, Ari was uh, up there in the first part of at duel number one and was looking for a win. And, boy, with this strategy here, I don't know if this was a good call or not, but he's trying to reel in Keaton Jones right now. If the two get together, they'll be a lot faster working together. Scott Schuer yeah, I, and Bobby Chaney coming up behind him. Them four yeah. may start working together. Yeah, you can see Keaton Jones, uh, the leader, he's actually lifting a little bit to try to let Ariadne get to yep. him. So that's a good call. You also got Scott Schuer and Bobby Chaney working together. Yeah, and it won't be long, and they'll be right up on them here. They're about two point, or about two seconds behind in closing. So uh, once they get into that one second window, they'll be they'll be feeling the draft. Or one point seven, they are gaining one point five, one point three. It just keeps getting down there a little bit more. One point one, and it would be very. Very good for them front two to let these guys catch them and be a four-way battle up here because they're going to be a lot faster four of them than two of them. Oh, absolutely. You're absolutely right. I tell you what, leading that uh, that pack that did pit, well, actually, they're side-by-side side here. 
for fifth uh, for fifth on back. Uh, Femi Olat is now leading that charge, leading that pack. There's Anthony Embry. Remember, he was there late in the race last race. Unfortunately, yes, sir. got caught up in a big wreck on the final lap. But yeah, you got this uh, pack that's already pitted. This is basically what would be the lead pack if the other four drivers do come down pit road. Yep. Now, a couple of those guys have been to pit road, but that was under that caution on lap four. So yes. that's that's kind of putting them on the edge of the window. Now, Keaton Jones has not been to pit road, so he definitely has to stop. When that's going to be, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe he'll try to partner up with Airy here and come in together, or maybe all four of these guys will come in together. I think it would be great for all four of them to stay together like this because they're way faster than they would be separated. Oh, for sure, right now. Well, last time at the line, Rudy, uh, that that top five, uh, Femi Olat, and that lead pack right there was 29 seconds back. How much distance did they catch to that top four? We're about to find out when they cross yeah. the line here. Well, they're, they're reeling them in. They're, they they reeled off, took off about two seconds since they yeah. pitted. 29 seconds that last lap. That lap, Rudy, 27 seconds. So these yep. guys are definitely going to catch this top four if these guys do stay out. But if a caution comes out, that's going to bunch everybody else back up. But I know these guys are going to be able to catch the top four before this race all said and done. Well, everybody was calling the, the one of the favors to win here was Jared Darling. He started fifth. Oh, Femi down in front of him. Oh, my gosh. That was close. My goodness. <laughs> I think that even scared Jared Darling a little bit right there. And if you notice, Caden Henry even backed out. He said, whoa, man, that was close. Malad to the lead. Well, not to the lead, but to fifth. The lead of that group, let me put it that way. And they're down to 25 seconds behind him. Yeah, I mean, two seconds each lap. So Golly. I would say, Rudy, in sometime in the next 12 or so laps, that's when I, it just, if they keep up this pace, gaining two seconds each lap, then in the next 12 to 13 laps, that's when they're going to catch that top four if those guys do not pit and if we don't get another caution. And I think they're going to have to pit. I, I, I do believe so. Eric Hall. Trying to reprieve here from that boy. Almost pulled out that win uh, in duel number one. Man, what? That was just absolutely crazy the way that all went down right there at the very end. But it was a good effort on Eric Hall's play on uh, his, uh, on, you know, for him to do. So that was great. Working with uh, James Simmons right now. Well, look at this uh, lead pack right here. Nate Stewart on the bomb. And look at Sean Williams up there on the outside lane. Sean Williams needs uh Sean Williams had a decent result in the last race either. Sure did. Um, but look at that. Nate Stewart back there. Femi Elias dropped a little bit. Here comes Malai Ramage shooting to the outside lane. And again, Rudy, they gained another two seconds yep. that lap. Down to 22 seconds. And if them guys pit, boy, they are going to be so far back, they're never going to be able to reel this pack in. They better hope they uh, save enough fuel. Yep. Eaton Jones... And and Scott Schuer. And in a way, Rudy, the top four right now, they're in a way kind of saving a little bit more fuel than you see this big pack because as much as you get in a big pack like this, it's it's sucking up more fuel than you would be if you were all by yourself. You, so it, it's going to be close for the top four, but I know this pack is going to catch them before it's all said and done yep. if we don't get in their caution. Well, it's going to be 20 to go this time by. 20 laps to go, and nobody's made a, a shot to come down pit road out of these front four. And Sean Williams takes over the lead on this group. Daniel Falkingham on the outside. Malad Radman just pushing the daylights out of uh, Sean Williams right now. This is the pack to watch right now in front four. They're down to 19 seconds. Behind that front pack. Holy oh, smokes. Oh, Lysenby got shuffled up to the outside lane with no help. Even Terrell Baker, same thing. Yep. Just got shuffled up there. Sure that did. Time, that time, Rudy, 19 seconds back, and they're two seconds. They get 18 and a half now. 18 and a half seconds behind them leaders. Oh, man. I thought we were going to have a wreck right there. Look at Anthony Emery just thread the needle between Nate Stewart and Taylor Fry and Malad Ratman is now going to try to lead that pack. 
Not quite clear enough to clear Sean Williams. Sean Williams still flying on the bottom lane. Yep, Falkingham sitting in the middle here watching what's going on and just around him. You got cars to the right, cars to the left, cars in front, cars in back. Just That's in crazy the box. right there. Yeah. Just in the, yeah, just in the box. And you know what? That's sometimes one of the worst scenarios you could be in. It's just in you the betcha. box. You betcha. I mean, Lat now back. He is on the high side. He may be looking to try to get this lead back, though. Now, this is not for the lead. This is for the lead of this pack. Because the leaders up here, Keaton Jones and and Scott Schuer. Keaton yeah. has not been to pit road yet. Scott yeah, Schuer, uh, he's been on pit road, but I don't know if he's got enough. Uh, he's got 16. You know, these guys are really close on laps right now. They've got uh, 17 laps on you know on fuel out there right now. So make that 18. Yeah, yeah. So far, uh, the top four is Keen Jones, Scott Schurer, Ariadne, and Bobby Cheney. This pack you're seeing here is the drivers that did already pit, and what yep. would be the lead pack had those top four pitted. But look at Anthony Emery. Man, I tell you what, where is that bottom lane going? All of a sudden, they are dropping. That yeah, they lane, are. That, that's probably one of the first times tonight I have seen that bottom lane just lose so much ground. And look at Malad working up there on the high side with uh, Femio Lat. Holy smokes, they're moving. Yeah, you got Femio Lat uh, and Malad Remen all the way upstairs with Anthony Emery and Eric Hall in the middle. Daniel Falkiam and Sean Williams are downstairs looking to get up to the front. And they're good to go for the rest of the race now, so they don't have to worry about pitting. And they're down to 14 seconds behind that the leaders. They are they are catching them. And it, you know what? It's going to be in their seven laps until they get to them because it just, you know, yep. 14 seconds back, gaining two seconds each lap. They're going to get there in like seven laps. Well, I'm looking at uh, these guys running here. Falkingham's running about 196. Bobby Chaney just took over the lead here. And he is running about 194, 193. So they're running about maybe two mile an hour slower than that that uh, back group. Bobby Cheney is going to come around here and lead his first lap of the race. I tell you what, what in the world happened to Malad Raman? He was up there racing for that front pack, and now all of a sudden he's in the back of that pack. He got shuffled out to dry up there on the very outside lane. Nobody went with him, and he's all the way back. At the back of that pack now. He's still trying to get back up to the front. Look at them trying to squeeze in the middle. Whoa! Hold on, Malad. Oh, Hold on man. There, Malad. Oh, Whoa. he's going to go three wide. Wow, what a run. Boy, he shuffled Femi right out, didn't he? He, he shuffled a few guys out of line. Man. Tony Hillbrand's right there behind Femi. They need a little more help up there, but I think they're going to get it here in just a minute. I don't know. It looked, it looked to me like Spencer Owens was going to go to the high side, but uh, okay, here we go. Jared Darling moving to the high side. Look at this leap pack up here. Here comes Sean Williams getting a good, uh, I'm sorry, Anthony Emery getting a good push by Eric Hall. Remember, uh, man, this is the same scenario Eric Hall was in in the last race. But he's just trying to rebound after that unfortunate circumstances on the final lap to try to still win the night. How about Terrell Baker uh, in the picture? He's just watching this all unfold. Yes, sir. And they are catching them. They're down to 12 seconds behind that front group. But now these guys have got more more organized up here. They're not losing quite as much ground. But again, remind you folks, I think some of these guys right here in these front four are going to have to pit. Yep. <laughs> Alan says, apparently I'm drunk. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently he uh, thought he didn't know that top four was the lead cars yep. the entire time. He thought this giant pack was the lead pack. Yeah, they're just racing. These guys pitted, and those front four have not. So let's see what's going to happen here. Boy, I'm going to tell you what, Eric Hall... I'm telling you, that guy right there is on a mission. I'm telling you, he is on a mission. He is yeah. not to be denied at, at least a better finish than he had last time. 
He's definitely determined for sure. I mean, after what happened in race number one, he put that behind and he's ready for this race. And so far, he's doing a terrific job at it. Yes, sir. Anthony Emery goes to the high side, leaving the bottom open for Daniel Falkingham. And Anthony Emery is going to pass Daniel for that lead. And Anthony leads that lap. That's the first lap of the race that he leads. Or didn't he get the lead? He went, what? I thought he got the lead on that one. Hmm, well, he'll lead the next one, maybe. And they're uh, 9.8 seconds behind that front group. Man, they are coming like a freight train. How about TCB on the high side there, Joseph? Yeah, look at that. Getting a good push from Femi Olai. Caden Henry is also up there as well. They are three wide for that second position in that pack with Anthony Emery leading. You got Daniel Falkingham downstairs, Eric Call in the middle, Ter Terrell Baker upstairs. But here comes that run from Terrell Baker to the race lead. Not quite there yet. Daniel Falkingham is now all of a sudden uh, dropping back just a little bit. But as they're heading in the one, 12 laps to go. These guys are still catching. They're eight seconds back now. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking this was the lead back. It's not the lead back. Bobby Cheney is now leading up here. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say 100% sure whether Bobby Cheney has pitted enough that he can make it the rest of the way. Ariadne was on pit road, too. Those two may have something in store here now. Uh, Scott Schuer, he's been on pit road as well. But Keaton Jones, I'm telling you what, Keaton Jones is going to be running out of fuel here before long if he does not pit. Because I have not showed him on pit road yet. Well, I tell you what. That's he may not have been, though. Well, I tell you what, that top four, that's not the only thing that's concerning them. That lead, that pack behind them is the next thing they're also concerned oh, yeah. about. Because they know they're coming. We got 11 laps to go. You know they're going to catch oh, them. Folky oh, him. man. Falkingham, hold on to it. He holds on to it. Good well, job. Anthony Emery, Emery kind of chopped him off just sure a little did. bit, and it almost turned him around. And Falkingham, look at the, what it did. Four wide all of a sudden. Here comes yeah. the lad getting underneath uh, uh, Eric Carl. Oh, Femi man. Femi Olad now to the outside. Lysenby going backwards. Up. Oh, oh, there's the big one. Oh. Big smash him up in turn number four. Up into the catch fence is Nate Stewart. He is upside down barrel rolling. Terrell Baker involved. Jared Darling involved. Oh, my and the gosh. Caught up into it. Let's go back and see what happened here. I'm riding along with Anthony Emery. I think that was the car that started it, but I don't know exactly here what happened. No, nope, it was Eric Hall. That, was that it Eric Hall? Started. Yep, it was. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, he's riding in the middle right here. Milad Radman on the bottom. Eric Hall swings up wide. Oh, and Simmons touches that oh. back bumper just wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? To be honest with you, there was no room in there for James Simmons to go. He tried to thread the needle and just wasn't yep. enough room. And unfortunately, he turned Eric Hall around. Yeah. And, man, you got to go back and look at Nate Stewart because he went for a ride. Jer Justin Lysby was also involved in that wreck as well. Um, I believe Aaron Smith was also involved in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here with uh, Eric Hall right now. And yeah, right there, Simmons gets into the back of him. Of course, that, that kicks Eric Hall down the track here and he gets into Anthony Emery and that's going to stack a bunch of them up here. Emery goes up high. We'll catch with Nate Stewart here in just a minute. Let me see if I can find him. You said Nate Stewart? Yeah, Nate Stewart. Uh, Taylor Fry also got a piece of that as well. Okay, I'm on board here with Nate Stewart. Oh, my, yes. He is going airborne. It looks like Lizenby is going to punt him up into the air. Holy smokes. Oh, and it looks like Lizenby is going to get damaged from uh, Anthony Emery. Ay, ay, ay. He's up on top of cars here and can't get off of them. What a Good. ride. Oh, man. Story. I'm telling you, that was wild. That was pretty wild. I man. Mean, I mean, you know, it was coming down to closing laps. You know, it, it was time. The aggression is starting to rise. And, you know, that's just, it was just one of those deals, you know. Yep. Down to the final laps, time to go. But. 
I mean, even though they had to work together to get up to that top four, they also had to make some moves back there as well because you never know how it could play out. Yep. Well, now this is bunch to field all up. Them guys that needed to pit finally got the pit, but boy, they're going to be back in the field a ways. Uh, Bobby Cheney, Ariotti, uh, guys like that. Uh, Keaton Jones, he finally made his pit stop. But this uh, this kind of changed things up a little bit. How about we get a word to him, Scott Schuer? Yeah, absolutely. Let me uh, let me get him and talk to him real quick. If we can find him. You got him? Oh yeah. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, where is he? Uh, Scott Schuer, where are you, buddy? I saw him earlier. <laughs> I, I don't, don't see him. I don't see him in here now. Wow. Oh, no. I. I thought I saw him in here earlier, but I guess he's not anymore. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, how about Malad? Let's talk to Malad. Oh, absolutely. I got him. Okay. Malad Ratman, you got a copy, bud? Yep. Second place right now, man. You got just got away with that rack happening behind you, but you've also been strong. You also got shuffled back at one point, and then you were just threading the needle in the middle, just shuffling the cars up high. How strong is that car, and how aggressive are you going to be in these final laps now? Well, did you guys see what happened under caution? I did not. What happened? Uh, Femi wasn't paying attention and drove right into my rear end. So oh. I have damage. Oh, yeah, wow. I have damage. Um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, um, that's what you have to do at these races is just go through the middle three wide. and It's risky, but um, I pick and choose when to do it and the people to do it with, like, Let's say, like, Eric Hall, I'm not going to take him three wide because I feel like he'll come down on me. But if, if it's Jared or if it's Justin, I think, guys, I did it then, I'll, I'll do it because I know if they know I'm there, they'll give me the room. So um, it's fun, and uh, it was fun while it lasted. I have a ton of rear end damage now because uh, uh, Femi wasn't paying attention. It's all good. I'm not mad. It's just a freak accident. Um, so I'll uh, see what the car has, but we're, we're out of it. I mean, I'm probably going to fall to the back here. Hey, tell us about the comment you made there about Joseph's uh, commentary was yummy. <laughs> yeah, because when I, I watched the end of the race on the thing, and Joseph, like, he, what, why I said it was yummy is because he remembered where Will was on the front. Yeah. Like, he said from 10th to 1st, and I was like, that's impressive. He, it it yeah. came off smoothly and everything. And Oh, yeah. And uh, it was some good commentary. And then you were, like, screaming, oh, my God. It just, it just well. when someone's, like, when, when someone is narrating and then you have, like, the screamer, that's it just works. I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, TCB isn't up here in the booth, so somebody's got to yeah. do it. That's so, right. Yeah. Well, Malad, um, well, sorry about the damage. We had no idea that happened under caution. We're so focused on seeing where everybody's at and what happened in that reg. Well, if, hopefully... You don't have too much damage enough where it sends you to the back, but maybe luck can still be on your side. Maybe some more wrecks will happen. You get through it. Maybe you'll still have a decent result. So good luck out there. Man. Yeah, that's that's what I want is a decent result. I'm okay with it. I have an awesome clickbait YouTube video now, so I'm okay with getting hit <laughs> under caution like that. I'm fine. Awesome. Well, uh, get that clickbait video up there very soon, and uh, best of luck to you for the rest of the race. See you, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, it's a shame Scott's not in team speak. Doggone it. I really kind of wanted to talk to him because, you know, he's kind of a, I, I don't mean any disrespect by this whatsoever, but he didn't qualify here today. He's kind of an underdog. You know, he he's is. Not, and, and I mean, for him to be in the position he's at right now, that's amazing to come from 32nd. You just got to put yourself in the right spot, and that's yes. all that matters. You know, he put himself in the right spot, but now, um, the thing is, everybody else that stayed out came down pit road, but he was the only one that stayed out. Does he have enough fuel? I think this caution may help him save a little bit, yeah. but you just never know. But look at who's in fifth. That's Eric Hall in fifth. He actually saved that car. Yeah. He kept it going. He's still in this, but I know he's got some rear end damage. Same as Oops. James Simmons. He's got some yeah. damage. So how will it affect their performance? We'll just have to see, but... Oh, man, Rudy, it's <laughs> Eric Hall is determined. He's not out of this yet. He wants to finish this race. And those were the two that got together and pretty much brought out yeah. that caution right there. So, And they're still up here in the front, man. That's what you call dedication and staying with it like that. That's, 
That is awesome. Both of them guys, congratulations to them for staying with it here, man. That's that's pretty amazing. John oh, Williams, sixth yeah. place. Sixth place, doing a good job, hanging in there. Tony, Tony Hillbrand, Sarin. yeah. How about Cody Lama started 31st? He's up yeah. to ninth. He's basically an underdog in this league. What does he yes. have? Hey, there's John Barry hanging out in 11. Yeah, remember he was involved Ooh, in that lap two yeah. track and he didn't hit anything. And he was actually really a half a lap behind. He was, uh, I don't don't remember who he was riding around with, but I think it was Nathan Lewis, but he was all, he was like half a lap down. And this caution, he's all of a sudden back in the picture. What can he do? By the way, Lucas Smith, Nate Stewart, and Jared Darling pulled it behind the wall. Yep. And Anthony Emery's still sitting on pit road, but I think he is officially out of the race, so... Wow, wow, look at this, Rudy. The sun is somewhat going down. Of course, uh, they will finish this race before it actually gets started. But you can tell the lighting is starting to get dimmer here, which yep. means you know how it usually goes. When it the lights come, well, there's no lights here, but once the sun goes down, the action picks up. That's right. And the track has cooled down to 86 degrees. So uh, I think it was like 88 or something when they started. So it has dropped a couple of degrees here since it's clouded over. So that's uh, pretty awesome. All right, pit stops are out of the way. Nobody's got a pit now. And we don't know about uh, sure whether he's going to be really close on fuel or even Malad Radman because, uh, you know, the, them guys up there, they stayed out. I don't know. We're, we'll, we'll see how things go here. I don't think, I think they're going to be all right. Yeah, absolutely. I really do. Yep. Well, all right, they should get the one to go right here. And when they do get back to the restart, we're going to have a five-lap show. Now, remember, there are three attempts at green-white checkered, so it's not like we had in the past where if we have a caution with five or less laps to go, the race is over. We have three attempts to finish this race under green, so we still got that in play. We shall see if we get any of those, because in, in dual race number one, we didn't have to use any green-white checkers. We went the full yeah. 38 laps, no problem, and still had an amazing finish out of it. What are we going to see here? How aggressive will some of these guys be? I don't think we're going to be that lucky this time, Joseph. I, I think the aggression level just went off the charts right now because everybody out here in this front right now would love to grab as many points coming out of duel number two here. Some of them have decent finishes in duel number one. Some of them did not have good finishes in duel number one. So they're trying to make, his, make it up here in duel number two. So this is going to be, I think aggression is going to be like, man, these guys are going to show more aggression than I think we've seen out of these guys in ever. Well, I do want to thank you guys once again for those tuning in the chat, tuning into this race tonight. Almost 200 viewers right now as I'm seeing you guys, you guys make this happen. Put on, uh, you guys are the ones that comes here each and every week and even other races that Max Speed TV provides. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Make sure you click that like button to show your support. You guys are about to see a good show. You guys saw a good show. If you stuck around for dual race number one, you guys saw a good race there. It's been a good race so far here at dual number two, but the action is still just beginning, honestly, Rudy. Even though you we've bet. done 33 laps, the action has not yet began. It will happen now. How about that? Make sure you guys, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. It means a lot. To obviously to Rudy and everybody over at Max Speed TV. But Rudy, here we go. I know it. Here we go, man. Get them going. All right. Scott Schuer and Malad Radman will be on the front row when we get the green flag. Five laps to go. Will we get to the white flag without another caution? Or will we get another caution to set up a green white checker? The pace car is off. We're ready to go. Five laps here to finish off this race and Scott Shore, wow, he's taking off early. The green flag is back in the air and I'm not sure if you want to jump off to a, a lead like uh, that. Uh really. yeah, that's not really that good of an idea because these guys are gonna gather you up here in just a minute. You see they kind of shuffled Eric Hall out on the back there. He's hanging on in fourth and eh, about to go to fifth here. Sean Williams is gonna get by him. He's gonna have to get down in line or he's gonna continue to drop. Well look James at Simmons. Look oh, we got there. a wreck back oh, there. No, back, back there. Caution? No, I don't think so. Not yet. It was Hunter Combs. No caution. Him no and caution. Uh, look like Zachary DeMarsh got together. But look up front, Rudy. 
Malad Raman has taken. Oh, and oh they're right working. Again. Another oh, big smash him up at turn number four. Oh. Scott Schumer involved. Cody Lamas involved. Sean Williams gets out of that. Cody Miller gets a piece of it. James Simmons also involved. And we're under caution once again, yep. and we are going to have our first attempt at a green-white checkered. Well, I'm going to stay on Cody Lamas here, see what happened. Now, Cody Miller's right behind Cody Lamas. Oh, it got started with James Simmons and Eric Hall again. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, let me get up here on them then. Uh, okay, I'm up here on James Simmons, and it looks like maybe Eric Hall went... Well... Right here, it looks like. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, he's right there on. James Simmons is right on Eric Hall's bumper, and he saw it on it just one too many times, I think. He looks like he may. Oh, yeah, right there it is. Right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and Scott Schuert hard into the outside. Oh. Cody Miller had nowhere to go. Look at Nathan Stewart just flying through that wreck and he actually missed it you see kane and henry going all the way to the bottom john barry as well but man a poor eric hall got turned twice by james simmons cody oh, Lamas man. involved and uh man scott sure who was the leader on that restart gets a piece of it that is just too bad yes sir very very bad for these guys cody miller oh man he's gonna get tagged by sure I think Cody Miller's day is probably just about done. I know Scott Schuer, he's probably toast now. But I do not know if he'll ever get that car fixed up enough to get back up there. Oh, and uh, uh, James Simmons. James Simmons, man, that car is really tore up bad. Man, I tell you I what, you, I mean, Eric Hall got turned one time by James Simmons. I wonder how he's going to feel after getting turned a second time by oh, James Simmons. Oh, man. Two, oh. I mean... Those two are the ones that brought out a caution two, uh, two times in a row. I'm yes. not sure how Eric Hall is going to put up with that. Wow. Well, all of a sudden, Tony Hillbrand's in fourth, Nathan Lewis in fifth, John Barry is in seventh, all of a sudden, Bobby Cheney eighth. Then you got, I mean, we haven't even mentioned Spencer Owens, all even in much in dual race number one. He's rounding out the top 10. Yeah, he's kept that car clean enough to be there. Ariadne, him, Will Klein, the winner of the first duel. He's yep. got himself in position here to win duel number two. Well, remember, at the final lap, he was running 10th, and he ended up winning that race. Yes. It was unbelievable. He's putting himself in a position to do that again. But here's the thing, Rui. This is the first time at a green-white checker. We didn't have a green-white checker at all in the first nope. race. This is going to be the first green white checker all night long. Will we be able to make it to the white flag this time around, or we will we have another attempt at a green white checker? Remember, we're up to three attempts. Yeah, and Will started in twenty third position too. So man, that that says a lot about him. Uh, Spencer Owens twenty sixth. Uh, I think was a Caden Henry. No, Caden Henry started fourth. He had a great qualifying time. Nathan Lewis, he started eighth. Tony Hillbrand started eighteenth. Uh, Sean Williams, 15th. Daniel Falkingham started ninth, And Malad Radman started third. And he's leading the race. But he does have a little bit of a little bit of damage on that car. He's Let's got get, a little bit of damage. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get a word with uh, Daniel Falkingham. All right. Daniel Falkingham, got a copy, bud? 10-4. Well, here you are in the second spot. You crashed out of the race in dual race number one. Here you are having a shot to win this one uh, and gain some good, valuable points right now um, and rebound from race number one. So how's the race overall for you, and what's your strategy in these uh, final laps if we do happen to make it to the white flag? Well, I will say it hasn't been boring, to say the least, but uh, just three, four, Y, all, all that crazy stuff, and then we've already had two big wrecks. So, uh, But, yeah, the race has been uh, – it's been pretty good for me. We stayed out of trouble. I decided to qualify because it was only one lap, and I think a lot of people got kind of screwed up on that. They didn't see it was only one lap. So uh, I decided to qualify. So yeah, I'm going to put myself up front. But we uh, didn't get a great lap, but, I mean, I got the right, got on the right pit strategy with everyone else. Yeah, I just decided to pit with everyone else this time instead of just waiting out. I think that was a good call. So uh, now we're up here toward the front, and I know Malad is destroyed a little bit. So uh, hopefully we can get around him, and uh, hopefully we can win this thing. But, uh I mean, I love playing race. I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but uh, pretty hard to win these things. 
Yeah, because you never know what's going to happen in, in any of these three shirt to play races. But right now, you're in a good position to try to go steal a win tonight. And uh, we'll see, man. Well, best of luck to you. Maybe we can talk to you in victory lane afterwards. Uh, but see if you can get through these uh, final laps. Thank you, Joe. Well, he could have a good point there with that little bit of damage that Malad's got. I, I really don't think that he's that much slower because uh, he's been able to stay up here with these guys. Now, I mean, if, if Sean Williams could give him a good shove right there, they might be sitting pretty good. I mean, Malad Ratman was able to get up to the front on that after that restart when he got by Scott Schuer. So it seems like he's still got good pace on that car. Now, remember, Rudy, Malad Ratman won the season opener at Daytona. He didn't. When he got involved in that last lap wreck in dual race number one, what about this one? Can he steal in there? Can he get a second win of the season tonight here at Talladega? That's right. We'll have to find out. And remember, we... yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Well, and remember, in a few weeks, Rudy, we're going back to Daytona for night racing to oh, start yeah. off the playoffs. We still got, um, we still got, um, yeah, we still got three more races after tonight before the playoffs. We got Las Vegas next week, Richmond in a couple of weeks, and then Darlington to end off the regular season, and then we head to the night race at Daytona. Oh so boy. still a few races left to go until we get to that point. Still a lot of the points to be collected. Well, we had 205 viewers there just a minute ago. I don't know where they all went, but uh, 205 viewers. Thank you, everybody that have been tuning in here tonight. We can't thank you enough, uh, Joseph and I. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video. We'd appreciate that as well. So uh, you can check out our full schedule at MaxBTV.com and follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MaxBTV. Well, this would have been the white flag lap, but remember it's, right? it's, it's extended to the to a green white checker and looks like we got the one to go signal this time by. I would think. Yep. It looks like the double filing now. So yes, sir. First attempt at green white checker. We're ready to go, Rudy. And man, it's so far it's been a crazy race, but hopefully we can get to the white flag and see some good action in the final lap. Well, to coin a phrase that a friend of mine used a long time ago, I paid for my whole seat, but I'm sitting on the edge of it right now because I do not know what's going to happen here. I don't think we've seen the last green-white checkered. I think we're going to see another one, but I may be wrong on that. You know, I, 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 ho <laughs> I hope I'm wrong for a lot of these guys' sake out here right now. You know, we've got, uh, what, uh, 23 drivers left in this race after starting with 35 a lot of guys are out of this race. Well, uh, Hunter Combs, Femi Olad, Cody Miller has pulled it behind the wall, same as James Simmons. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they will not finish off this race at all, but we still got 23 cars on the lead lab. That means a lot can happen. A lot of yeah. things can happen with that many cars on the lead lap. It's a shame Eric Hall's back in the pack like that, but you know, uh, I don't know if he's got, he doesn't seem to be too beat up that bad. So I, he may have a chance at this, you know, maybe at least to pick up a few more positions. Yeah, after as with far, Cody Lamas. Yeah, as far back as he is right now, he does, unless something happens, he doesn't have another shot to uh, win this race. But hopefully, if anything happens in front of him, he can pull out, hopefully, a decent mm -hmm. result. All right, here we go, folks. Pace car heading in. The first green-white checkered attempt. Malad Radman and Daniel Falkingham on the front row. Falkingham thinking that Malad's got enough damage on the back of that he can get clear of them. Let's see what happens here. Tony Hillbrand's pushing Daniel and uh, Sean Williams pushing Malad Radman. All the way around the trioval here before they get the green flag. Green flag. And the green, green flag. flag's back in the air here, Talladega, and the first green-white checkered attempt. Oh, Tony Hillbrands goes high. Oh, and they're, look they at him. They have four wide up there. Oh, my. Look at Tom my. Marcia with the run. Also, oh, he's up to four. you got to be kidding me. Four wide back here. Oh, what? my. I, I knew they would go three, but I never expected four. <laughs> got to go four now. Got to give everything God. Well, down the back straight away once again. Side by side for the race lead. Look at the outside lane getting the advantage. Daniel Falkingham getting a good push from 
Uh, Sean Williams up on that outside. No, I'm sorry. That's actually Patrick Colby all of a sudden. Where did he come from? He's yeah. all of a sudden having a shot to win this race. Here they come off to number four. Can they make it to the white flag? Daniel Falky up to the race lead. Here comes Patrick Colby on the outside linking. A good push by Kanan Henry. Here we go. The white flag is in the air. Final lap here at Talladega Super Speedway. Side by side for the race lead. Falky up downstairs. Colby upstairs. Malad Radman behind Falky. I'm Kanan Henry behind Colby. Side by side coming off turn number two. Oh, they, they get they together! Get they get turned around. Daniel Falkiam is gone, but behind them, Sean Williams is all of a sudden pulling away. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to go back and show you that wreck, folks, because I don't know what's going to happen here. Sean's got the opportunity to pull out, and look who's right behind him. Yeah, here right we behind. go. Zoltan Herzig, is he going to pull out now? That's well. Here oh my gosh, I'm bumping a million. Three wide oh, for the race four wide. Oh my gosh. folks that was absolutely crazy finish what what in the world just happened tony hillbrand sitting back here a little push here from nate i think that's nate lewis i think and they're going four wide up in front and he is following right behind these guys a little contact here Right there, looks like he may have got into. He did. He got into the back of Will Klein. He did. Oh my gosh! But at the line, oh, is he going to get it? Yes, he's going to get it. Falkingham. I think Falkingham gets spun. Yeah, he, he does. Got hurt by Nathan uh, Lewis there. Yep. Oh my gosh! Do you believe it? And across the line goes Tony Hillbrands for the win, folks. Sideways. Oh, Terrell, oh my. Terrell Baker gets second. Oh my gosh, you believe this? Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. I okay, can't. We, we need to slow down. I, I'm so glad, honestly, we got another week until we <sighs> catch our breath for the next race. Can I breathe now? <laughs> <laughs> you might as well try before we interview. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Tony Hillbrands is going to be so pumped up. He, he, he might not even be able to talk to us. I don't know. I thought Will Klein was somehow going to pull off another four-wide move for the win. That was, I know it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, let's talk to Tony Hillbrands and see what he's got to say. Let me drag him down here real quick. Tony Hillbrands, you got a copy. Yes, sir. How's it going? Wow, man. Oh, what an exciting finish. You go across the finish line sideways there. Tell me about that last lap coming around there because you were mired back in about fifth or sixth. Well, I, I resetted fourth, I spun, the tires spun on me, so I fell all the way back to 10th, and then I got back in line, and then I saw them wrecking, and I just wasn't going to lift, and I just held it in the held the gas down the whole way around, and it just worked out for me there. <laughs> can, can I say this? Can I say this real quick? Uh, Will Klein won the first race when he was running 10th on the final lap. Tony, you were 11th on the white flag lap, and you pulled off the win, so... I guess just being outside the top 10 on the final lap is very beneficial when it comes to racing here at Talladega. But, man, Tony, out of nowhere, you just show up and grab the win. Congratulations to you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad I had a race where I didn't get wrecked this season, and I ended up getting the win out of it. So I'm super excited. Uh -oh. Well, no, oh, did, he, did we lose yeah, him? No, I, I'm, just, I'm just super excited for the rest of the season here. Man, I'm telling you, what a finish, Tony. That was amazing. Did, I, did you even expect to, for you to grab a win here today? Did, was you expecting this? Well, I can, at plate tracks, I can make my way to the front. So I, I knew I could get there. It's just usually I get hung out to dry. And I just, I guess I just timed it right there on the last lap. Wow. Well, great job. Congratulations, brother. Who you got to thank for it? Well, thank you guys for broadcasting, John, for hosting the league, and just all the fans for watching. Um, I know, I know they get crazy at times, but it's really fun racing here.
Oh, yeah, man. Well, you guys put on another a great, amazing show here. Duel 1 was just absolutely off the charts, and Duel 2, Duel two I think, was just as high on the chart, man. That was amazing. Don't you agree, Joseph? Yeah. No, 100% agree. Both races were good tonight. Man, you talk about an excitement level that was out of here, man. That was crazy. So, all right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but uh, congratulations there, Tony. And we can't wait to see what you're coming back next week. I think you guys go to Las Vegas, which they say in these cup cars is just like driving at Dega. Well, uh, if it's hot, though, it's going to be really slick. So I'm, I'll be looking forward to that. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations again, Tony. Good job. Thanks. All right. Joseph, you got second place. Yes, I got Terrell Baker in the second place. Terrell, um, you were you were <laughs> in the top. You were sixteenth at the white flag. You finished second. How in the world did you do that, dude? <laughs> Joseph, I have carefully. No idea. It was literally the plate gods that were with me that whole last lap. I never lifted. The car was destroyed after that huge crash. Um, they're, they wrecked on the bat. I just like saw Bobby Chaney go spinning in front of me and uh, somebody else that I never lifted. And Guys, then... Rudy's coming down. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Anyways, yes. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, then I went into three and I got on eight. Wait, oh, wait, I'm in the booth? Yes. Yes, yes Daniel. Oh. Oh. Shut your pie hole, will you? <laughs> I'm coming to tell my freaking story. Go on. Oops. <laughs> you all right? Yes, now I'm all right. All right. Go then on. Coming out of four, they all wrecked. And I honestly, I was just saying to myself, I'm happy with a top 10. And, and then I guess Tony was in front and Will got turned and everyone else died. And, and then I got wrecked and I was like, ah, oh, whatever. And next thing I know, I'm freaking second. Like, how? I shouldn't have finished second. I should have been beyond the wall. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. You didn't finish too far behind Tony Hillbrands. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was that close. That close. But, oh, well. I'm happy with it. I feel like I won. Well, Terrell, good job on your second place tonight. You came out of nowhere to finish second. And I told Tony Hillbrands this, too. I guess... Being outside the top 10 on the final lap is very beneficial because he was 11th at the white flag. Will Klein won the first race, crossing the line in 10th on the white flag. So, you guys, it's just unbelievable the racing we have seen tonight. You guys always put on a good show. But, Terrell, is there anybody you got to thank for your second place tonight? Oh, God, as usual, my long list of people first. I want to shout out my mom, my girl watching. Uh, I want to shout out Combat Beast. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to give a shout out to Tony, even though in that big crash, he punted me and got me into it. But, um, you know, I'm letting bygones be bygones because, I mean, you're lucky. I got second. All right. So I'm letting that go. You'll live I, another day. Tony. I swear I did hit you, but nah, I did, I did. Nah, you hit me. You hit me. You hit me. But it's <laughs> So I'm happy with second. Uh, I got to thank everybody that works so hard up north and uh, Team TCB Motorsports, uh, Harner Combs, Daniel. I'm going to name everybody. So we'll be here for a while. <laughs> no, Cody, it, no, we got uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, who else? I don't no. even know who else is on my team. Da I, I said Daniel, Cody, Sean. I, I don't know. <sighs> I, I, everybody else <laughs> on the team that I didn't mention. And then all and then, um. What, 216 viewers or something like that, right? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, so all 216 of you crazy Nork fans and Max Speed TV fans and iRacing fans and racing fans and fans fans <laughs> that came out here and watched us. Um, well, the first race was good. Well, both races were actually pretty good. If I like to touch on both races, the first race was um, more strategy. Well, this race was strategy, too. They were both like the exact same, except... We just had a green white checkered and everyone died basically like two times. <laughs> but I mean, other than that, they were they were pretty good Dega races, especially the first one where I led, you know, and kind of dominated, you know, not being biased or anything. But <laughs> um, other than that, you know, you guys came out for a great show and I appreciate you guys all coming out and watching. And uh, the guys at Max VTV do an amazing job every week. You know, week in, week out. <laughs> Rudy Cummins comes here and watches us race and wreck and 
tempers flare and <laughs> oh my <laughs> god you do realize uh, we have lives you know to do things yeah really uh, yeah. can uh, we get a yeehaw to hell and move I'm, on here buddy <laughs> i'm emotional apparently i got second all right <laughs> well let's all right. get a yeehaw all right. yeah. <laughs> can i get a max speed tv dale and go yeehaw and i got p2 all right awesome <laughs> well hopefully uh sienna can calm you down a little bit if she's still watching uh this broadcast uh sienna you need to make sure you calm this guy down a little bit because i think he's the high the high level so the the energy is way up there he needs to settle down a little bit which i know will never happen but terrell baker uh congrats on second place uh tonight uh best of luck to you next week out in uh, las vegas yeah <laughs> daniel Bonkium, <laughs> Third place, man. Uh, you had a horrible result in the first race, but you come back strong in the second race and get a good finish out of it. And I think uh, you're still close to that uh, points lead there with uh, Zoltan Herzak because he finished 12th in this race. But tell us about your race overall. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I still have no idea how I finished B3. I have no idea where TCB came from. No idea where Tony Hillbrands came from. I really don't know where everybody came from, except I just saw, like, probably, like, 10 to 12 cars flying in my mirror behind me. So, uh, that was awesome, but, uh, yeah, I definitely need to work on my blocking. I feel like Martin Truex Jr. in some way, but, uh, I probably could have had that one if I actually blocked well and he didn't come up the middle, but instead I went, I just, I don't know what I was doing. I was turning the wheel way too much, and I ended up somehow on the apron in the grass. So, uh, yeah, I definitely got to work on that, but honestly, I didn't care if I win this because all these races are a lottery anyway, so, uh. Man, it always feels good to win plate races, but so these are just a toss-up and stuff, so I don't really care for these races, to be honest, but uh, still, it was fun, but I mean, I love plate racing, but still, I mean, it's fun when you're doing them, but honestly, it's still, I still don't care for them, but uh, overall, it was a good race, but uh, I'll happily take the P3, at least we didn't, at least I didn't get wrecked for once, so I'll definitely take that. Well, you guys are going to Las Vegas next week, and that's kind of like pack racing with these cars over there uh what's your expectations over there uh hopefully not crash that's some, <laughs> some good expectations but, no, no, no. but honestly uh, I, I look forward to having a good race there i know we were over there and uh, laura i had a pretty good run over there too so uh i feel good about my chances even though las vegas no matter what i run there las vegas that's probably like my worst mile and a half i have absolutely no idea why but uh yeah, I think I think we'll come out strong next week, and hopefully, we can knock out these next few races, and hopefully, you get a regular season championship. So that'd be nice to get those extra bonus points for the uh, playoffs. All right, well, Daniel Falkiam, anybody you gotta thank for your sec uh, third place tonight? Uh, I gotta thank uh, you guys for putting on the broadcast as always. Thank you to uh, Revan who puts on the league as always each and every week. Um, also, congrats to Tony. I have no idea where he came from. Congrats to him. I think that's his first ever win, so shout out to him. Also, shout out to Team TCB bringing exceptional cars to the racetrack each and every week. I mean, we are, we're always a beast on the plate tracks. That's a given. Um, also, got to thank, um, what else am I forgetting? Oh, also, uh, did I, so I heard this, Craig, we had over 200 viewers. Oh, it, it was amazing. 217. 217. Yep. Wow. It was um, I'm blown away, honestly. I mean, usually Nord doesn't. I mean, we get some pretty good viewers most most time, like probably like 50 to 60 to 80. But uh, I mean, with when you get these plate races and stuff, these big races, you bring out a lot of viewership, and plus you got a lot of fan favorites. You know, with Malad, Sean, TCB, like, and even myself too. Yes, I am calling myself a fan favorite. Okay, but uh, yeah. I've, I mean, just wow. the viewership and all the fans that just come out and watch us each other week, all the support they give us, that makes us want to race every Tuesday night. Wow. All right, well, Daniel, good job on third place tonight. Uh, best of luck to you next week out in the, at um, Las Vegas. See, see you. All right, let's run down through the final results of duel number two here. We didn't get to do that in duel number one because we barely had enough time to get to the get to duel, duel number two. But uh, Tony Hillbrands comes out with the win. Terrell Baker second. Daniel Falkingham third. Elijah Gracia 12 one thousandths of a second from getting that third place away from Daniel. That's amazing. <laughs> Nathan Lewis in fifth. Cody Lamas in sixth. Justin Lysenby seventh. Bobby Cheney eighth. Uh, Taylor Fry in ninth, and Sean Williams rounds out the top ten. Joseph? 
Tom Mercier will finish 11. Zoltan Herzeg in 12th. Keen Jones, 13. James Kolobali, 14th. Ken Henry round us, rounds out the top 15. Eric Hall, 16th. John Barry, 17th. Malad Radman will end up 18th. Spencer Owens, 19th. And Ariadne will round out the top 20. All right, Patrick Colby there was battling for the win at the very end, but uh, finishes 21st. Aaron Smith, 22nd. Will Klein, what a tough break for him. I think he was coming up through there to try to grab dual win number two, but didn't quite make it to the line in time. But uh, he will finish back in 23rd. Femi Olat, 24th. Cody Miller, 25th. Uh, James Simmons will finish 26th. Hunter, uh, yeah, Hunter Combs, 27th. Scott Schuer, 28th. Zachary DeMarsh, 29th, and Jared Darling, 30th. Joseph? Anthony Emery will finish 31st. Nate Stewart, who went up in the catch fence late in the race, will end up 32nd. Lucas Smith, 33rd. Tommy Gossett, 34th. And Scott Ramler will round out the field in 35th. Yeah, that was a tough break for Scott, man. I'll tell you. I, I... Well, what did you think of tonight's race, sir, Joseph? I'm going to hear your, uh, your point of view on this. I just need to take a breather. I just need to, like, settle down for the rest of the night and just relax. And yep. hopefully I will be relaxed by the time we head in the next week's race at Las Vegas. Because, man, oh. tonight, two races here at Talladega tonight. Two exciting finishes. It definitely raised our throats up high. I got to yep. chill my voice out, too, because I thought I lost my voice on that final lap. And what's <laughs> funny, Rudy, I'm not sure if you caught this, but, like, uh, my mic cut out uh, halfway through that final lap and stuff. It took me a little while to uh, to start talking again. I, I oh. mean, when the big wreck happened off turn number two, uh, my mic cut out, and then I didn't get my mic back going until they were in turn number four, but I was still able to announce the uh, finish. It Man, that's how exciting this race was. So, Rudy, we just got to settle down. I hope you guys just... <laughs> just enjoy this race tonight because oh, man, yeah, I think this was you. one of the best holiday races we've ever watched. But I'm ready for next week, Rudy, at Las Vegas where we head to the desert. It should be a good race out there. Yes, sir. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching tonight. Until next time, stay safe. Have a good night. <laughs>